Howdy everyone, Creepy Drone 651 here. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to make a computer. Now, making a computer in Minecraft is a bit of an ordeal, but it's not as difficult as you think. Um, for the world we're going to make it on, it's usually best if you do it uh, on a <coughs> peaceful and on a super flat world. Uh, you'll need this. Uh, now, this is on Pocket Edition. So I'm not sure if all these commands will work on a PC or whatever. Probably will, but just a disclaimer there. And just go ahead and turn uh, use all the settings I am. I usually use experimental gameplay just in case I want to um, use structure blocks or whatever. And there we go. Now that we got our settings all done, um, <clears throat> we'll spawn it in on our super flat world. And I'm going to be showing you in this video how to make the mouse and cursor. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously a command block. So you're going to do this. All right. Then you're going to lay them down in this formation. Now this is your arrow keys and your um, mouse button, like the selector for the cursor. <clears throat> but we're not going to worry about the cursor selection right now, um, but we're also going to be needing this one uh, block right here that will be <clears throat> uh, making the cursor stationary. So we're going to use a slime block for that, so, I mean a slime for that. So we're going to use this command. And we're going to have it on repeat, unconditional, and always active. <coughs> This is also why you don't want uh, mob spawning to be on, so that, like, the world won't lag. Because I do use an animal for this kind of computer. Anyways, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, we're gonna need... Basically, you could use any block, but I prefer to use iron um, to make the structures. We're gonna need the screen, obviously, but for now, I'm just gonna make a small, like, area like this, so that, um, because I'm not too worried about making the actual computer just yet. This is just showing how to do like the mouse and stuff. So, what we need is we need levers and we need a slime spawn egg. Oh yeah, and a sword. You'll understand why in, why this or a trident. I've noticed that it's a lot easier to do a trident. Oh! Actually, you're gonna need to have this on easy. Just gonna want one of these. Another thing you're gonna want to do because of this is you're gonna want to do this command slash game rule command block output false. <clears throat> That'll keep uh, the chat lag free for this because if the chat keeps uh, showing that it's teleported, it will fill up and keep filling up, and it will lag your uh, your phone out a bit. See, now that we have that, let's work on the arrow keys, and that's actually the up direction, so we're going to do this. It's an execute command as well, because it would teleport it right to the command block if I did it that way. Alright.
All right, so this is done. And as you can see, it will move that one upwards. And basically you do the same to this, only uh, negative one on that last thing. <clears throat> and as a result, this command block will now lower the slime block. I have a slime. <clears throat> and these two are actually what it's going to use uh, directions, because it's side to side. Alright, so the left, we go down on the, the first number. So we're gonna do this command. Now, this will make the slime go to the left. <clears throat> we basically do this one only a positive last number, or a positive first number. And as you can see, if you go outside of the screen, it will end up uh, being demolished due to uh, suffocation. Um, let's just get one. There we go. We got lucky first time. All right. So now that we have this, we have a fully functioning. Uh, D-pad. So that's basically how to make the cursors for this uh, this thing. Did you just jump? You might experience a little bit of difficulty, however, um, if they're able to jump like that. I thought I saw a jump. Probably not. Anyways, um, that's gonna be it for this tutorial. The next video I'm going to be making is about how to make the uh, center select button and how to make different frames for your computer. Thank you.